No. No, uh <laughs> Absolutely. No, I uh I had to believe in myself all camp. I uh obviously know I'm coming into hostile territory and Bellator was pushing this kid really hard. You know, and he's got a lot of promotion behind him. He's got a lot of followers. He's, and you know, I knew I was going into a war zone, but I was prepared for that. My team got me prepared for that. My family got me prepared for that. You know, mentally you got to be strong, and that's exactly what I did. It mo that that motivates you more. I feel like when you have a tougher uh, task at hand, it makes you wake up earlier. It makes you go to bed earlier. You focus on the fight 24/7. You know, you, you you can't go to bed. Your last thought before you go to bed is your your opponent. For for however long you know that you're gonna fight for eight, six, 12 weeks, it's in your head every day. Does it make you go, hey man, why are they pushing this kid? Why are they not pushing? Oh, absolutely. You know, I knew I knew that I could very well be in his position, and that could be me. And so I, I told myself that the, the entire camp. I said, you know, I'm going to go in there, I'm going to derail the hype train, and we're going to ride out of there on it ourselves. And I'm going to – we put the black flag right in the middle of the, the ring today. That's what we did. In some ways, this is this an easy fight in terms of – there's no pressure. You're brought in to lose. You're absolutely. Like I, was a, I was brought in to be the lamb, but they got a lion. So is it easier in training camp because you can go, all right, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I don't have to worry about losing because... Uh, no, you know, my record is 3-3, three and three, so I've had two very close split decisions that could have went either way. And uh, I could very well be 5-1, and one, but, you know, I knew I could be in his same shoes. And, uh, you know, I, it, it, I just knew I could come in and get the job done. I knew I believed in myself, my team believed in me, and that was it. It, it was uh, it was motivating. I I I, uh, I knew that it would be the tables would be lopsided. So I, but man, I had no problem with that. Uh, the crowd, my coach was telling me the, the crowd can't fight for him. Crowd's not gonna fight for him. And I believe I, I, that right as soon as he said that, I I believed it. I knew that it is just me and him in there. You know. Do you feel like this is the turning point in your career right now? Absolutely. Uh, I don't know about the turning point, but it's a huge uh, step for me. Um, in my my team, um, we've had some ups and downs, and I feel like this one is 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 really sweet. This one this one is definitely uh, I'm gonna go home and enjoy this one for a little bit, and let my family enjoy it. Uh, I've been you know back to back fights. Uh, my family is feeling that. You know my kids feel that, um, and I just want to go home and spoil them. I do. Absolutely, hands down. Yeah, he, he a very tough opponent, young opponent, uh, and it, it brought the best out of me, honestly. And uh, absolutely, the the best, my best victory yet. Have, have you talked to anybody from the organization? Did, did anybody say anything to you after the fight? Have you seen what guys like Corey Browning have done? You know, knocking off some of these guys. And yeah. Hype and they keep coming back. Do you feel like? That's absolutely. You know, I, I feel like I I'm gonna be that. I would love to be the guy that they want to put me in against these hype trains, and that's all I do. You know, I'm from upstate New York, Albany. It's a tough area, man, and uh, in, and there's a lot of killers up there, and I'm one of them. And I'm I'm happy to put the area on the map. Once you started landing on him, did you feel something? Yeah, I I uh, I I was feeling his shots, but I when I in the exchanges I fired back, and when I I clipped him, and I knew I seen it on his face, he was trying to put the mask on, but you can't hide from me, and I, and I you can't hide those emotions. I see it, I I see the weakness, and I'm going in for the kill. I, I put the I put the fangs right in the neck, and and finished them. How tough is it sometimes for a guy like yourself when, you know, he's a paid fighter, he's paid to fight. You guessing have full-time job, you try to find time for the kids, the wife, and training. How do you balance it? How tough is it? It's extremely hard, but I have a ton of support, family, coaches. It's definitely not a one-man job. And uh, being, like I said, being from upstate New York, it makes it even harder. But, you know, we get the job done as a team. It's a team effort, and I got a great team behind me and a lot of motivation. Having kids, having all that is just more, more motivation. Uh, and of course, you know, uh, you have opportunity, you always have opportunities to walk away from this, but I, I'm never gonna walk away from a challenge. And when they offered me this fight, uh, you know, I, I knew I had to go, I bid on it, I just, I knew it was my opportunity. This was, this was my opportunity. What is it about the sport you love so much? You talk about challenges and 
it's his chance to bounce off his family. I, 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 what it's the most satisfying thing to me is the uh, the nerves before the fight, how you feel, just oh my god, like why is why am I doing this? Why, uh, you know, the the adrenaline is so uh, crazy. But then this feeling right here after the fight, the satisfaction, the congratulations, that's a all time high. Is there's nothing like that in life. There's nothing like that in life. Is being rewarded with uh, love. There's nothing. There's nothing better than that. You know, money's nice too, but uh, you know you can't replace love, man. What did your kids say to you? Well, my son's right there, and uh, he's looking like he's, he's like, wow, my dad's sitting up here. Like, yeah, I'm sure he's only five, so I'm sure he's 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 uh he's wondering. But I'll tell you, in that fight, um, when I when I was, you know, there was a moment where I said, you know, your son's here, and and are you gonna quit in front of him? And the answer was absolutely no. So. No, no, he's been in a few of my fights. Uh, he's actually been telling me all week I better choke Kimball out. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, so he was a huge motivator for me. And, and you know, my, 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 my wife, Kim Benacosta, she's, she's, she's just uh, amazing. She supports me so much, and she does a ton for me. And uh, it's just um, amazing. I'm, I'm blessed to be here. You know, it's a lot of people who put a lot of work into me is the reason I'm here.